I eat like a tube of lipstick a week. I love using Q-tips inappropriately. This is so gross. It feels like I motorboated butter. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Break. Hi. Okay, so we're super excited for today's episode because we haven't done anything like this before. What we're doing today is we're gonna be exploring eco-friendly products, specifically beauty products, and seeing like what we can swap out for the stuff that we're currently using. Most of you know already that the beauty industry, like a lot of industries. All of the industries. Yeah, are kind of destroying the environment. Mm -hmm. And we're all to blame, not pointing fingers at anyone, but I think it's time for us to take kind of the next step in getting better with our beauty routine. So the Clever team has done collectively a lot of research on eco beauty products, but there are plenty of bigger experts out there. We're definitely not experts. So if you wanna learn more, you should check the description. We're gonna put some links down there for you to kind of learn about it all yourself. Eco-friendly stuff is usually better for you anyway. Mm -hmm. It's better for your skin. It's better for your overall health. So I'm right. excited to dive in. I would love to leave this episode with like, a, oh, these are my new like go-tos. So yeah. that's like my, my hope for this. Yeah. And of course, if there is anything that just doesn't work, then we need to know those things too. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's, let's get do our it. Let's do it. It's dirty. So we're gonna try to break this down into kind of three different eco categories. The way it's packaged, the way it's used, and the way it's produced. Yeah. So we'll try to get into that in more detail as we unpack these things. So let's do it. Yay. Uh, Great. That was a vegan burp. Uh, it's harmful uh, to me. That one was, that one was. All right, so the first product is mascara. Okay. This brand is Kajer Weiss. So this is actually a super eco-friendly mascara. I guarantee it's more eco-friendly than any of the mascaras we're using. Yeah. I've ever used. Yes, yeah. um, because it's actually refillable and I've I don't think I've even heard of a refillable mascara before. And this particular one is about 50 bucks. Sounds really or, pricey. And the refills are 25. Yeah, so if you buy like a higher end mascara, mm -hmm. you may spend closer to 20 bucks on a mascara. So I guess over time, you're not really spending that much more. We also understand that like, Spending $50 and then 25 per refill is just not realistic for some people. I will say, this is good packaging. This eco-friendly <laughs> packaging is gorge. Yeah, this looks really, really, nice. really bougie. This is, is really welcome? sexy. I feel sexy it just holding it in my hand right now. So I guess let's see if it's like as good. good. I'm already like way ahead of you okay, guys. Okay, I didn't want to look at I it. I do anymore. appreciate it's like a lengthening formula. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is a really nice formula. You see this? Nothing is even coming off on my cheek. I, yeah, I feel like it's, it's really light. Any. This feels like a brush that's been cleaned. Look, you see this, right? Nothing is on my face. You have to kind of like. You have to like really get in there. Thread it through. Because I feel like it's really good. It does. Okay, yeah, like, look at the difference. You between... had it on this side, didn't you? Your right eye? No. <gasps> Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just informed the refill situation is this their wands are recyclable. And so when you order a refill, it gives you all of that so that you keep this part of the packaging. This just is reusable over and over and over. And this is recyclable and refillable. So that when you buy a refill, it looks like this. And then when you throw it out, it's not as harmful. Kind of looks like, I don't know. I'm not impressed. This is too expensive. I don't think we've solved it for mascara. I mean, it's 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 a fine mascara. Like it works. I There's just think for the for price. For Do the we price? know that it works? I would just rather not wear as much mascara over the life of my life versus spending $50 and $25 per refill. Yeah. I like the idea. I think it's going places, but I don't think it's there yet. You know? Yeah, I do like the idea. I respect the idea. The biggest issue here and the issue that they're solving is that a lot of recycling plants just don't deal with mascara tubes. Like, I didn't know that there's something really in mascara mm -hmm. wands that makes them virtually, like, unrecyclable. I know we have a lot, so let's let's move on yeah. and see, because we got to find we got to find a bunch of winners. So. I think we've got some winners in our upcoming list. All right, what's next? So this next product, it's a product that I actually have tried many times, and it's competitor I've tried many times. It's called the Makeup Eraser. It is a towel that removes your makeup without really using soap which is a bold statement, but it does actually really work. I have the competitor to this. It's like a little little mitt that goes right on your hand, but there are a lot of companies who do this. This was the original one. How much is I've it? used one of these before and it didn't work for anything, so I'm like excited Really? About this. So 
This will cost you 20 bucks. I think that is definitely more in the price range of, of good swaps, especially considering how expensive makeup wipes it are. It says it lasts three to five years. And yeah, 3,600 kind of equal to 3,600 makeup wipes. Like, yeah. Yeah. makeup wipes are expensive and a lot of them have chemicals in it that you shouldn't be putting on your skin anyway. So I would love to find something like this that actually replaces makeup wipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wear waterproof mascara. It literally mm -hmm. says on here, erases waterproof mascara, but eyeliner, foundation, lipstick, and more. I'm happy to test this. Like. Yeah, even waterproof makeup wipes don't work on my waterproof mascara, so. Do it. Let's see. This is really soft, by the way. The only thing that I don't love about it is it requires me to wash it regularly, and I'm not the, not the cleanest human. So I have the mascara on my hand from earlier, and like, watch. And you're not scrubbing really hard, No, you? I'm just like wiping it. Yeah, oh that's really good. I know, I told you. I have really really good waterproof mascara. It is not coming off. And it shouldn't come off because it's waterproof. <laughs> Explain to me how a little soft little bunny is supposed to get <laughs> off my waterproof mascara with just water. If you already know it doesn't take every waterproof mascara, then don't use it for that. But I would totally use this on the rest of my skin because it looks like, it seems like it's really like sensitive and nice and soft. And it's hyperallergenic and dermatologist tested. And I have like serious like bumps and blemishes. I like this, I think it's, I think it's great. Yeah, so I think if you have a really good pre-cleanse or you're just like on the go and you need to kind of like clean up your makeup for whatever mm -hmm. reason, this is great. I think the idea is that you keep this for three to five years, it replaces daily wipes. Yeah, it's because like let's be real, when we're like washing our face and like we use a makeup wipe, we use a makeup wipe, it still doesn't get everything off. Makeup wipes don't take a lot of waterproof mascara off. No. So like you use a makeup wipe, you, you toss that Throw and you it flush it, so, and then you end up having to wash your face too. So what's better, you know? At this you or have, makeup wipe. You're reusing this over and over again. This is again. obviously better. I'm keeping that, I put it in my bag. Do we have any things where we put foundation on with so I can fix this side of my face? Right, so up next we are doing lipstick. This mm -hmm. is Bessemer lipstick. Yeah. So their deal is they're super eco-friendly because they use very little plastic in their packaging. It's kind of cool because they, um, it says here the shade is a true replica of a color from 1969. Aww. So yeah. they said I was busy reading this novel on how to put on lipstick. Um, it's so long. But it's actually kind of worth it because oh. it told me that it's a liner and lipstick in one. So like it's the shape of it. Mm. Oh, that's is genius. purposely doing well, that. That's, that. That's reducing waste in the sense of you don't need a lip liner and a lipstick. Okay, here we go. I love this I like, color. I like this. Mm, this is this, nice. Like flat tip. Yeah, me too. I don't know if it's working as a liner. For I me. love it as a liner. Did you start? Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> I do have a mustache now. I can't. You even look see it. French. We <laughs> <laughs> we. I love this. I think I just like line my lips and put in on lipstick like borderline perfectly thanks to this. I am actually like, I'm obsessed with this. This I is a am. color I can wear like every single day of my life. Um, it's twenty like four dollars which is overpriced in my opinion, but then again, like lipstick is one of the most expensive beauty yeah. products I feel like. No, right. okay, yay, I found something I like. I this like is this amazing, too. I'm definitely taking this I home. like this. It's not a fifty dollar mascara, so. Yay, are you gonna yeah. kiss me? What's I wanna make out with you. That would be a color. very interesting Yeah, color. that color. It would make for a good thumbnail. So next up is a product that I personally have been using for literally 10 years. I feel like this brand has been around for forever. Mm -hmm. It was one of the first eco-friendly products that I think we all were exposed to. This is EcoTools. They are eco-friendly makeup brushes. You can get them at so many places, at CVS, at Ulta, um, on Amazon. We'll link to all of the places you can buy all of these, by the way, in the description below. I literally have EcoTools that I've had since I moved to LA like 7,000 years ago. Yeah. This is cool. The whole, all the packaging is eco -friendly friendly um, and it comes with it, like a storage tray. So the package is you keep it. You don't just throw it away. You use it to like store the brushes. And it's all like made from recycled materials as well. Get yourself a set of good makeup brushes that you just clean. Get a good makeup cleaner and these should last you so long. Like yeah. yes it's made from bamboo but you shouldn't throw these away. You should you should be able to really stretch out the the lifespan of these. Yeah. yeah. These are really nice. They're really soft. I hate brushes that are like prickly that yeah. feel like they are attacking your eyeball when you use them. You know what's crazy is that like I'm just putting this on and it's like it's going on so nicely so and easily. Soft. I always stayed away from eco tools because I just thought it didn't work. Really? Because it was but so I'm, cheap. Because it was so cheap. I love this because it's really hot. like it is so not 
like universal to be eco-friendly. It's it's like a luxury lifestyle to be super clean and super eco-friendly. And that's why people don't do it. And Eco Tools is making it so it is so accessible. This is sold at so many places. It's affordable. It actually works. And I like yeah. that I can just put this in my drawer and keep my brushes. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. like a drawer organizer. So next up, we have something that I didn't even know existed. It is a reusable cotton swab. I have some thoughts on this because cotton, like in our environment, is just a bad thing. It's going into the ocean every single day because a lot of people flush their their cotton swabs or they mm -hmm. throw it out. Mm -hmm. I did like do some research on this because I, I was kind of my mind was kind of blown by this because, and I think it was like 2017, 550, nearly 550 billion cotton swabs were sold. So if you think about it like that. Like where nearly, do they go? Exactly. So 550 billion, like that's a number I can't even comprehend. And just to think how little that is, how easy that could end up in the water. Mm. And just, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those things that makes me really, really sad because when you can truly, truly see it, I feel, I feel like people, their awareness impactful. changes and that's a really yeah. good thing. So there was this photo that came out a couple of years ago that kind of changed the way I saw the environment in literally one photo. It was that photo, if you guys remember, of the sea urchin dragon, horse, seahorse. Seahorse. I was gonna get there. The seahorse was like holding on to the Q-tip and it was like, a cute, people were like, oh, look at how cute this yeah. is. But then you're like, wait a minute. Right. The, the sea creature is using a Q-tip. Why does it have a Q-tip? Like yeah. how did it get there? Yeah. And it was the one photo that made me start recycling. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. I was like, this is so gross. Like we're and contaminating our earth. But like if you want to really truly, if you don't really care about the environment, look up pictures of the ocean. Look up pictures of trash in the ocean. I swear it changes your mind. And I don't mean care like it's a bad thing. Like just some people haven't really seen the gravity of what we're doing to our ocean. It does look like a real normal Q-tip that you would see. Oh, well, it works like one too. Oh, you like it? These are great. I love these. I'll use these to like fix my makeup and stuff. I do this at the sink. Like it'd be really easy to rinse it off and reuse this as far as like a reusable Q-tip goes. I was like, mm, yeah, right. But no, I get it. This is like a really easy no-brainer. Next up, we are gonna try wet lip oil gloss, which just sounds like four adjectives that I really like. So mm -hmm. yeah, Kosas? Kosas. You've heard of this. So one of my best friends works for the company. She sent me this entire this wet lip oil gloss collection and Kosas as a brand is one of my favorite brands because they are so clean and they actually promote people wearing makeup that makes them look good and not like that makes you look like you're wearing makeup. So they have a tinted oil foundation mm, that you see. just put on with your hands and it Ew. makes you look super natural. I like oh. that it says it plumps, hydrates, and repairs with a little bit of color. It smells so good. They're kind of comparable to any kind of like nicer brand of makeup. Obviously, you're not going to get this at CVS. I think this is like $27, but it's a really a small price to pay for a product that's really good and that you're going to use for a long time. I don't think I've ever run out of Kosas makeup that I've purchased. I'm excited to try this. I mean, I really like it. I think it's really nice. Mm. The only thing I would change is like, I don't really feel like there's a lot of color to it. It's not it's not really tinted. Then again, this just might be the wrong shade for me because it is really light. The formula wow. itself feels oh really, God. really nice. It feels so hydrating. It is tingling a little bit, so I do know that there is something in there that's Plumping. gonna plump it a bit. Wow, this feels like butter. It does. It feels like I motorboated butter. For $27, if it's really, really good, I would spend the money. Awesome. Yeah, I this love is good. this. This is really, really yeah. good. Oh, I'm impressed. Hell yeah. So Kosas is on a bunch of green lists because they don't use any chemicals in their makeup. So it's all natural ingredients. And then the chemicals don't end up in the environment. Or your body, because you know, if you're like us, you eat a lot of makeup. Yeah, especially me. I always <laughs> I am, I eat like a tube of lipstick a week. Mm. All right, so next up we have a sunscreen, which is something that's like I don't know, we all need to wear more sunscreen. I feel like the world needs to wear more we sunscreen. We all need to wear more sunscreen, but the sunscreen that's out there is already so expensive and it's killing the ocean and yeah. the coral reefs. And it's killing yourselves too, your face, because yes, there's so much skin, chemicals yeah. in sunscreen. So this yeah. is Juice Beauty and this is SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer. It's a zinc oxide sunscreen. So I have used zinc oxide before and it's basically like, isn't that the stuff they see in like the 80s? Yeah, right? they just put, put it on, on your nose. nose. Yes, yeah. it, so it is. Uh, it's tough to really get one that you like because it could make you look purple. Um, or it can make you look white. It's really hard to rub in. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm curious. I'm super I curious about and this I have too. super sensitive eyes, so I oh. never wear sunscreen ever. Yeah. Ever. You just wear like a beekeeper's hat when you go outside. So I have used this before, but I think I remember only using it on Harrison because I liked 
that it looked like it was a fairly mm. natural product. So no chemicals, it's also cruelty free and it vegan. It smells I read. so good. It smells like freshly cut grass. That's what it smells like. Oh, wow. It's yeah. not um greasy. It's not Oh no. This sounds good for white people. Look. Look at the difference. Uh, it is That's $30 for this tube. That's actually mm. incredibly expensive. But I will say you could probably use this on your face and make it last longer, which is really like where I yeah. It's a big tube for face sunscreen, yeah. if we look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, and it's been a couple minutes on my hand, and it doesn't feel greasy the way doesn't. sunscreen feels. So I would feel comfortable putting that on my face. Yeah, yeah. I would totally use something like this on my kids yeah. because... They don't care. Yeah, and also, like, I know that there's no chemicals on it, which is, like, something that's I really do care about when it comes to Harrison and stuff. Yeah. I love it. Great. I love it. Smells it. nice. So next up is the floss category. I love flossing. I could floss all day long if I didn't have a life or a job. I floss multiple times a day, but unfortunately, normal floss is made with chemicals. So this floss is completely biodegradable. It comes in this cute little jar. It's like a little twine. It looks like a severed finger, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna floss. I'm gonna save you guys the horrificness of that, but I do why? I do wanna rip apart this is it, why is it to horrific? see. Cause it's gross. Oh really? Again, like cleaning I your ears love it. should be done in the comfort of your own home. You would see. Oh, it works like one too. Welcome to the world of zero waste. Just toss toss our natural pure silk floss to your compost pile after you're done using it. So it is 100% recyclable. It says, and then the packaging is made of craft paper and soybean ink. And it says the glass jar can be used reused over and over again. Or of course, glass is recyclable as well. It makes sense, right? It's. This is gonna break down way better than all that other trash. This is the stuff we want to in. throw away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're so excited about this floss. I love I'm so happy for you. Flossing. You, should take, you, should, you can take it. <gasps> oh. oh my god, it's like really caught. It's biodegradable. So just wait till Yeah, so just wait. I'm sure it'll only take a few months. <laughs> do we need some tweezers? I don't know what to do to get it out. You need to definitely put more floss in it. Ah, oh my god. I got it. Don't worry. I love it. All Everything in on this. Yeah. Love it. I took one home. I put it in my little tin. Here is oh your God, you refills. You're going to have it. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay, now we're going to try this dry shampoo from A Cure. Yep. Um, it's rosemary and peppermint for all hair types. I guess we will see if that's true. It's 100% vegan, 0% pretentious. It's kind of funny. Oh, I like oh, that's that. That's cute. Like, the bad thing with dry shampoo is obviously, or one of the bad things, is the aerosol spray. And I actually, aside from, like, the environmental impact of that, I constantly am worried about how much dry shampoo You're breathing. I am breathing in. Because if you think about yeah. powder, powder goes everywhere. So it's like... You would still be breathing right, in. Right, powder, right. in baby powder, it's not we, good for you. Like, it's terrible. It's horrible. So this this is a powder form dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't make my hair white, and it actually does what it says it does, I'm gonna be a changed woman, because this is my price range. Right. Yeah, I actually sent this in to test, because I've been really curious about it. Also, just a fun fact, it says you can puff this onto your brush, or mm -hmm. work it directly yeah. on your scalp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never would've thought to do that. Yeah, this is the only bad thing about powder dry shampoo, is it it's a little messy. It's like, how do you? It smells, like, it smells like a spa. It smells like Thanksgiving, like rosemary. I don't smell anything. anything. Right? I think I would have to definitely try to use the brunette one because like it def it just gave me like ashy head, you know? It's still good regardless. I think the principle behind this is like, fine, okay, fine. It's clean, great. It's good for the environment. It's good for you. It's cheap. And it's cheap. Yeah. But I yeah. will say like, I think this would last you a while. A while. And for being yeah. only eight bucks, I think it's like a worthwhile investment. Yeah, Not only because it's, Good for the environment, but also is you it works? really don't need any more dry shampoo. No, yeah. let me show you. <laughs> so we actually Yay. started off today like not so good, but uh -huh. we've come to find we like a lot of products that, that, are, yeah. that are inexpensive and accessible. That's the that's the big thing. Yeah, cool. I'm actually excited to steal some of these. Mm -hmm. for I already have. There are things in my bag already. Same. Aaron has seven flosses. I'm so excited. I don't know about you guys, but I think I was most surprised actually by Eco Tools just because it's been at the drugstore since I was like, I'm not kidding, like probably middle school, like dead serious. Yeah. And I feel like I've just never paid attention to it, never thought of it as being like a really great product. And I am I'm converted. I also love this floss. I don't didn't know it existed. Now my life has changed forever. I'm gonna be helping the environment every day that I'm flossing 20 times a day. I'm so excited. This was the most eye-opening in terms yeah. of just how wasteful and terrible Q-tips are for the environment. Mm -hmm. And I love using Q-tips inappropriately. 
right? Not of my I butt or anything. Um, well, you know, know, know what? One time when Harrison was constipated, the doctor told me just to put a Q-tip up his butt. Yeah, Which that's where it is. All right, well, I do think that this was a very eye-opening episode for yeah, us yeah, um, because we all like know that it's important to be environmental, environmentally friendlier than we already are. We could yeah. all do more, but just knowing that there are products out there yeah. and that we actually do like a lot of them is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We've just like reach the tip of the eco iceberg friendly iceberg so let us know in the comments what other eco friendly products do you think we should try yeah. be nice to yeah. us we're still learning especially if there was something where we all scoffed at it because of the price if you're like i got something better for you yes i yes. know you're interested in looking for this here's one that's more in your price range mm -hmm. please let us know yeah educate us in the comments there's yeah. a lot to learn we're and we're still not learning. experts yeah and you guys like really more importantly like just take a look at the things that you are using and like prioritize. Like you can find things in your homes. I guarantee you that you can swap out for more Start environmentally small. friendly, eco-friendly. A little bit goes a long way because if you think about how many people there are on this earth, if we were all doing just a little, a little bit, bit more, we would be making a huge difference. 2020 is going to be the year of like clean beauty and clean yeah. makeup. I can feel it. Yeah, and plus it's better for your skin anyways, you know? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys, Yay! we just got to try our new products. If you guys haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, and we'll see you back here a lot Bye. cleaner. Well, maybe. All right, you guys, that was so much fun. But if you want even more Clever Style content, which we know that you do, just click right over here. Despite what this finger's doing, click here. <laughs> and also, what? I don't know. <laughs> what else, Erin? There's a subscribe button, too, and a bell. You should hit those as well. Lauren's like, hey, you, you, you click that. Click it. Bye. No, but seriously, click it.